What's up, YouTube? This is John Hammond, coming back at you with Natus Level 14 from the Over the Wire War Games, some web application security stuff. So, in the last couple of videos, we've been doing some file upload vulnerabilities. Uh, let's clean up some of that code, and let's check out what Level 14 is asking for us. And, uh, going ahead and to run that script, it looks like the page is pretty simple. There's just a form, post method, with a username and password, and a login button. So nothing else. Uh, let's take a look at the source code and see what this is really doing here. Thankfully, over the wire levels for our learning and our education is giving us the source code. So once we download that, we'll again use Sublime Text to deentitize all those HTML entities, um, and we'll remove all those break statements. So I'm going to save this in a new file or a new pane in Sublime Text so we can keep the source code. Okay, so it looks like the PHP code here uh, determines if we are supplying the username, so if we've actually kind of filled out the form or done what we expected to do, it makes a connection to a MySQL database, so a database that has you know anything in it, maybe credentials, uh, maybe credit cards, maybe passwords, maybe social security numbers. The potential for databases is crazy, crazy big. Like that could be at an airport, that could be at a bank, who knows? So there's normally a lot of good things stored in a database, at least good in the eyes of an attacker. Um, so let's take advantage of some vulnerabilities here and see what we can break, see what we can leak out. We are selecting the NAS14 database and we're making a query, um, select all from users where username, and we're just concatenating on the username and password equals concatenating on the password. So this is bad. Like this should be firing alarms in like security professionals minds because you should never ever ever be concatenating like variables that you control like the user has full control over like at the raw level request variables get http post stuff um and concatenating them into a sql query or thing that's going to be run on a database there's no sanitation there's no actual verification of this data and it's super duper bad so that will lead to things like sql injection like in inputting SQL commands and SQL code into a query and making the database do different things and leak out information. You're tricking the backend database where you, as the attacker, are replacing what would normally be data that the user would supply or information and replacing it with code. We're tricking the database into think that our data and it's actually going to be executing code. So we can see the query that we're working with and we can use this uh, debug functionality that it's testing. Looks like a little hidden Easter egg to show us what the query really looks like when we're at the, when we're executing it. And then it will show us, okay, if we actually get a result, if the number of rows returned from executing this query is more than zero, or if we get any results, if we get one or more, then we will be successfully logged in and we'll get the password. Otherwise, access denied. So we don't know any username and password. We're, we literally don't know credentials, so we can't log in. But we can take advantage of this SQL injection and maybe get it to return something and, okay, log in, get the password for the next level. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's change this um, URL up here to set debug equal to true or really anything. Um, and then when we run this, Nothing's going to happen to start because we're not actually posting to the web page. But now let's go ahead and post to the web page and pass in a username and password as variables here. So comment this out, change this to a post request, and let's say data can equal username can equal please, and password can be subscribe. <laughs> shameless plug. Cool. Run this. Let's see what we get here. Oh, I forgot a comma. Man, my moment of glory with the please subscribe digger is <laughs> totally ruined. All right. Don't forget your commas and your keyword arguments, kids. Stay in school. Um, so here's the debug information. Executing query, select all from users where username equals please and password is equal to subscribe. Access denied. So we weren't able to log in with that, obviously. But you can see we're just concatenating in those things. They're not being sanitized. So what's to stop us from using double quotes 
in one of these, like in one of these these fields that we're supplying, because in the source code, it's using double quotes to denote this is where I'm going to put the username or put the password. That'll be the placeholder for it. You can see it in the query here. So if I put an extra double quote in there, will things break? Will it run out of, will it, will it mess up that, that placement of quotes? Let's try this here. Looks like it did. We see executing query, select all from users where username equals please, with two uh, quotation marks, and we get a PHP error, or a warning here. MySQL number rows expects parameter number one to be resourced, is boolean given, and blah, blah, blah. So something went wrong. Um, we can put please anything, what now, lol, and just completely break it, see if we'll get more errors, see if we'll get weird things to happen. That's all the way included, and we're still getting that same error, or that warning, that PHP warning. So let's make this go crazy. Let's get try and get some valid SQL back into this. Um, we can use a comment, or in my SQL, just a pound symbol or a hashtag, to comment out the rest of the line, or the query here. So now we'll get back to access denied. Like, the command was sex successfully executed. There wasn't a warning or any PHP uh, MySQL notifications there. But we put a hashtag or a pound symbol that commented out this test for the password. So now we're not testing where username and password is equal to something. Now we're only testing where username equals to something, where username equals please. And obviously, okay, there aren't any usernames that set to please. Um, but now we've proven to ourselves that there is there is some SQL injection vulnerability here. So we can do other tests. We can inject other SQL statements, like trying to return something that always returns successfully. Like selecting all from users where username equals please isn't going to return anything. It's not going to return true because there aren't any users that are have a username set to please. But if we were to add another conditional in here, like or one equals one, because one is always one, right? That'll always return true, and that's in an or statement. So that condition will light up green. That will work. So that's the kind of most simple, easiest uh, example of SQL injection, where you can leak or dump an entire database, because it will select all or return everything where blah, 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 one condition that doesn't normally work, or one equals one. That condition always works. Select all where everything returns true, or one equals one. Sweet. So that should return something, have results more than zero, and we'll get success. Successful login. The password for Nanus15 is this guy. So you can see this query here with the debug information. Select all from users where username equals please. Again, we're terminating that original string because we've been injected our own double quote, and we're doing another condition in here, or one equals one, always return true, give me everything. And then we have a comment, a MySQL comment, that pound symbol or hashtag, that will just throw out the whole rest of the query. That and subscribe, that and password equals test, that goes away because we've commented it out. So just like that, we do some cool SQL injection, and now we've got the pass-through for the next level. So, awesome. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, SQL injection is super duper cool in my opinion. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I love that aspect of web security, SQL injection in databases. So, um, I think I just saved and overwrote that. My bad. Let's go ahead and create a new script for Natus level 15, but... Hope you guys are enjoying these. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope to see you in a later video, and we'll do a lot more cool SQL injection and web application security stuff. Thanks again. Uh, hey, if you like this video, please do like the video. Uh, maybe leave me a comment. Maybe subscribe. Share with us. See you soon.